Hello, 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 and welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Lavella, and this is a Minecraft single player Let's Play version 116.1. And we're going to get right to it. I have been working on. Ah! I've been working on crops. I got them started. However, I like to line the bottom of the irrigation ditch with sand or sandstone. I just like the way that looks. And I ran out because as you know, we still don't have a desert. So I, off camera, I started heading this way. We haven't really explored this direction yet, which is south. By the way, I don't know if anybody cares. But there's the seed. Minus seven eight seven five five three eight zero nine two six six two five seven one six two three. That's the seed, just in case anybody wants it. So anyway, I decided to head south, see if we could find some sand. And I made it uh, quite a ways. Forgot my compass. And uh, I discovered something. I didn't like explore it while I was there because I was waiting for you. Uh, so you probably can already guess what it is. But anyway, I went through that area and I kept going south, hoping to run into some kind of a desert or even a beach with an excessive amount of sand, you know, like they have a huge pile sometimes. And uh, so nighttime came and I had taken off without my compass, without a bed, without the stuff to make a bed because I thought, well, I'm just going to hop over here real quick and come right back. So I left myself unprepared and it was nighttime and I built a little uh, dirt shelter because I was really, at first I outran the mobs for a while and then I was like, okay, I'm taking way too much damage. So I built, I huddled under a tree and built a dirt shelter, <coughs> excuse me. And, um, I still died. So, then I came back. I respawned, you know, at the bed. I slept. And I headed back out and I could not find where I had holed up. Because I had forgotten to take a screenshot of the coordinates when I made the little hut. So, I lost all my stuff again, and again, it was not a major, major loss because, I mean, look, we're wearing armor still, iron armor still, uh, I was still carrying stone tools, so, you know, it wasn't that big of a deal, except I had found pumpkins on the way and had gathered up quite a few pumpkins. So that was annoying. All right, let's go ahead and, in case we need this, let's get a screenshot of the coordinates for this village. I don't think, I, I, I can't remember, I'm not going to say I have it. I can't remember ever seeing a village with two cathedrals in it, or chapels, or whatever you want to call it. There is a sunflower growing through, which through the floor. come over here and I'm sorry but I need food again so we're gonna get this while we're here and you know of all the stuff that I lost the food was probably the most annoying <laughs> but to be fair I believe I probably had eaten most of it trying to heal up because of the constant thing, constant barrage of attacks. Wow, look. Huh. I'll take that. Couple of potatoes. Gold ingot. Feather. Come back over here. 
Um, yeah, we're good on the sugar cane. Did we not look in here? Okay. Are they closing the doors behind me, or did I not look in those? As a rule, I typically don't leave doors open when I go in and out of a house. I usually have like a pressure plate or something. But when I'm exploring a village for the first time, I leave the doors open so I can see where I've been. In the old generation of villages, the only place to find a chest was the uh, blacksmith, if it had a blacksmith. Well, this is interesting. Ooh. I believe I want... Let's go ahead and uh, now nah, we'll leave it. It's close enough. We can always come back. Both of these generated in weird places. Hey, quit it. Let me in. You know, it's coming for the chest. Oh, yes, please. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Bread. We can eat some bread. And we have apples. Awesome. I wonder he didn't want to let me in. Yeah, you too. Okay, so this one. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and just leave those. But anyway, in the old generation, if you were lucky enough to find a village with a blacksmith shop, Okay, are there three? Then you check the chest in the blacksmith shop and that was it. I mean, there wasn't a whole lot of point to explore the rest of the village because the only loot that you were going to find was in that one chest. Oh, we've looked at these already. Okay, and we looked in that, the big house, yeah. I don't think we've looked in here. We did this one. Um, the ones they have in the pen, I'm going to leave those alone. Just for the aesthetics. Okay. That's tin beef. Uh, we're going to call that good. Okay. We're going to keep going south from the village. Actually, let's do this. There wasn't a smith here, was there? Go ahead and cook this meat up. And 
it's about to be nighttime anyway. Alright, let's go in here. Okay, crafting table. furnace and what was it four planks and a furnace is that how that was no how do we make the smoker I'll have to look again Gotta swore. Oh, four logs. Well, okay. Good enough. Actually, let's throw a little extra in there in case we need it again at some other point. Oh, yeah, that cooks so much faster. Hello. Hmm. If you keep that, you might be worth what messing with because we could make a little chicken farm. I do not do redstone, but that is one thing I think I want to do. Uh, it, and it's old, old, old. All it is is like a, a dispenser for the water bucket. And you push the button and the water comes out and you've got all these animals crammed in a one by one and they bounce up and you feed them and then you whack them or they just no you don't even have to whack them you just feed them and then you hit the button again so the water goes back in and then they just in any cram and you just automatically get the leather and the beef and the feathers and the raw chicken and whatever you're doing. And yeah, I think we're going to do that. Almost 100% sure that's going to be a thing. Let's just save that. Okay, so we have food. This was south. I'm getting really frustrated with all these little sidelines because I want to finish the house. 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 I have almost started on it again off camera and I'm like, no, because I know how I get. I'll get caught up in it and I'll just keep going. Excuse me. If we see another large amount of cows, we might stop and kill them for meat. But other than that, we're just going to look for sand. I need sand for my farm. Okay, I don't need sand for my farm. I want sand. Those irrigation canals, I realize that they are unnecessary. You only need one block of water. And that will basically take care of, uh, that will irrigate four tiles all the way around. Really? Oh, good. I'm breaking grass. But I like the irrigation canals. Uh, to me, it seems easier to pick everything up that way. I don't know if that's real or not, but it feels that way to me, and I'm the one doing it, so that's the thing. I remembered seeing a bunch of cows, but I didn't think they were this close to the village. But good Lord. Oh, the babies. How cute. Uh, are you guys mules? Is 
is it gonna tell me? Are you a mule? Stop it. Bamboo. No, it's a donkey. Okay. No chest for you. I always get it confused, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's bub goods. I'm pretty sure that it's the mule that can uh, have chests put on it. The mule and the llama. Okay, well, we gotta do it. I mean, right? Really? That's all we get? There it goes. Well, don't have much to that, but okay. And I don't know why that's so satisfying to knock down suspended blocks. But for some reason, it is to me. Okay. Yeah, the pumpkins were the other thing I was quite annoyed with losing. I was not happy. I'm getting sidetracked again. It seems like, and again, this is me, not a game mechanic that I can say this is how Minecraft works. But it seems like to me, when you find a lot of horses in one spot, you typically find uh, a village nearby, but it's probably not the case this time. All right, we need sand. We're gonna need it for glass. I want it for the farm. That swamp is not gonna help me. No, I don't know, again, I don't know the um, formulas, the generation formulas for the game, for the maps, but it feels like, to me, I am not saying that this is the way Minecraft works, but to me, it feels like you get a map that seems to be heavier in a certain biome. I've had maps where it seemed like everywhere I turned, it was another desert, it was another desert, it was another desert, it was another desert, it was another desert. Oh, look, another desert. Oh, goody, another desert. And believe it or not, I actually love the desert, but I won't build in one because of the color of the foliage. It's all dead and yellowy. I don't mess with savannas either for the same reason. And on this map, dark forest seems to be the thing. I mean, I know we've seen swamps, multiple swamps, more swamps than what I expected. I don't usually see this many swamps, but at least over that other side. 
It felt like every time we turned around, we were running into another dark forest. Excuse me. At this point, I would just, I would be satisfied with a huge fat beach. Even though I really don't like doing that. Oh look, a dark forest. It's a little bit of sand there. Not much. There was at one point talk, and I don't know if anything ever came of it, of making uh, Minecraft maps like logically generate so that you didn't have a jungle generate right next to an ice spikes biome. The uh, desert and the and the savanna are usually right next to each other and a mesa is usually next to a savanna or a desert but that doesn't mean there's not some did I not make a bed How did I not make a bed? Why did I not make a bed? I could have swore I had done that. Well, there's the wool all separate. Oh no, because I just collected it. Hello. Oh, good lord. I could have swore I... Yeah, I see ya. Well, that's what happened when I came out of my dirt. When I died. Is there were all these mobs that had been gathering around me all night. Because I sat in that dirt hut all night. And they spawned all around me. I need your wall just in case we're not waiting again. I thought there was another sheep. How about a creeper? And the skeleton shooting at me. Can you stop shooting at me long enough to let me kill the creeper? Get in line. Take your turn. Pushy, pushy, rude. Thank you for the arrows. Take that. But anyway, I came out of the dirt and there was like a bazillion zombies. And yes, they were burning. But there were a lot of them. And then, of course, there were creepers and there were skeletons and spiders. And I'd be trying to kill one thing and I'd be getting attacked from behind. And yeah, it was. Uh, not a happy moment. Not a happy moment at all. It is really frustrating me how hard it is to find a desert. Surely they haven't made it a rare biome. I kind of want to climb up there and see... I want to get the farm finished. I want to get the house finished. Oh, the bee. And yes, we're going to do the honey stuff. Am I going to do an automatic farm? No. I'm not doing a redstone honey farm. But I do want the bees. And 
I see nothing. Where is, there it is. Let's move that puppy up to, yeah, let's max it. Give everything a chance to render in. Oh, good Lord, I never started my timer. I was just checking. I was like, man, I feel like that we've been doing this forever. And uh, my timer still hasn't gone off. Well, you have to actually turn it on. You have to start it. Because I said it, I just didn't start it. Which probably means that we've been doing this for quite some time. Which is great, because I've been trying really hard to be a good girl and keep my videos at a reasonable length. We're gonna come up here and look. Now watch, just because I boosted the render distance, we're gonna find the desert. Like right by our base. That is a lot of swamp. I did not do advanced. I did not do uh, large biomes. That's a lot of swamp. That goes way back. I mean, you can see the vines hanging off way back there. Forest, of course. Okay, there's something weird over there. But you know what? Because it's very possible that I have gone too long, I'm going to go ahead and end this right now, and then we're going to go check that out when we come back. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch my video. I don't know how long it is. I forgot to start my timer. Hopefully, it's not horribly... Uh, sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you again, and we will see you later.